What's up, guys? Welcome to TMG Podcast. This is actually last week's episode. If you want today's episode, uh, that'll be on our Patreon right now. Uh, you can get it a week early if you contribute. It's patreon.com slash tinymeatgang. Um, so thanks if you do that. And if not, enjoy this one. Peace. Let the bros fucking snap. Let them snap. Let them snap. Let the bros snap go if you're down with your bro. <laughs> Let the bros go fucking in. snap. Let them snap. Let them snap. Bro, why do you have gills all of a sudden? Oh, shit. I'm a fish. What the fuck? I'm a fish. Bro, what did we do? This frame's kind of funky. What's up, everybody? What's up, guys? Welcome back to the fucking podcast. Feels good to be back. Yeah, it does. Uh, we haven't recorded for two weeks now. Two whole dose. I was in uh, the Windy City, a.k.a. New York. Ah. Yeah, the city of broken wind. Ah, is that what they say? Mm -hmm. The city that never dreams. You um, Seems like you had a terrible time. All that free alcohol and just... Yeah, it sucked. It just was <laughs> not just fun. torture. Yeah, oh. <laughs> five days of hell, honestly. Um, it was awesome. It was I, so good. I have to... Uh, so good. I just have to come clean and say that I may have lied to everyone when I said I'm not drinking shakes on the podcast anymore. I was just about to say that. Um, I was going to say when you're making... Also, I, I love, like, Noel's... His, like, the moment... What am I trying to say here? <laughs> Or, or it's like own. your trigger to start making the shake is when I arrive. Exactly. Yeah. It's never when I text you and say, hey, I'm 10 minutes away. No. It's always as I get here. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, yes. oh, fuck, I got to make my shake. Well, I work up an appetite crouching in the parking lot waiting for you to show up to try to scare you. <laughs> Cody has changed his parking space so I can no longer scare him for the gram. Yeah, I've outwitted you. I now know what you're up to. Listen. I refuse to be scared again. <laughs> I will not. I will never, ever <laughs> in my entire life. I don't feel fear. Um, real quick, if you're wondering what this warehouse stocking is is next to me, if you're watching this, it's um, these are the tubes that your posters are going to get shipped in. And we're going to... We bought a bunch of tubes. We're going to put them in by hand. Okay? We're, we're going to hand anyone. lobe. We're going to hand load your tube. We're going to hand lube your tube. Lube and load it. <laughs> with... And that. we're going to ship you a fresh tube. Fresh tube. So Stuffed full, too. Right right to you. Yep. Full tube right to your hands. Mm -hmm. Get how's your that? hands around it. and How's that for a dinger? <laughs> <laughs> um, I want to I wanna kick this off with a little segment I'd like to call Clearing Up the Facts. <laughs> it's like we have to get on our CNN and... Welcome back to Clearing Up the Facts here on the Racist Channel. <laughs> it's the <laughs> most racist fact check on the internet. Buckle up, folks, because it's about to get racist. Race Who has the higher IQ? Um, we won't oh, even. Oh, wow. <laughs> we won't even. There's like a limit there. Yeah. How far you can push that joke. I just like got you right just up got to it. Real yeah. close. I kissed it. Yeah. I kissed it. Mm -hmm. Right on the limit. Yeah, so, you did. Um, first of all, oh, I, I had that whole spiel about the strongman documentary. Yeah, we're I, talking about past episodes if you're yeah. a first time listener. Yes. And, uh, I didn't Actually, realize none of this probably made sense if you're a first time listener. Yeah. They were like, what the, they're what saying the fuck is a and dinger tube and dinger ding dang. What the bruh snap. What is that? <laughs> why are they, why are you, what's this Christmas tune? They were listening to it at first and they were like, then they joined in. They were like, I don't know what this is, but let but the it's, bruh <laughs> fucking snap. But it's fucking catchy. <laughs> I am finna let the bruh snap. <laughs> have you, uh, Dave, have you heard of this podcast? It's, um, these two guys, they sing that song. Let the bruh snap. <laughs> Michael, what the fuck are you talking about? Michael, this is a finance meeting. Get get the fuck with it. <laughs> oh, why are you naked? <laughs> oh, oh shit! I don't. <laughs> listening to the podcast, got carried away. They were talking about tubes and dingers. Double and, dick Dan. And I, and I, I don't know. know. <laughs> so I had that whole. Uh, I was really excited about that strongman documentary on Netflix. Mm -hmm. And I, you specifically asked me, you're like, do they do steroids? And I go, and you were like, no. I'm like, they are natural. Yeah, you. And yeah. I was a liar because it is an untested competition. Oh, you lied straight to my face. Yeah, I lied to you. That's Live. cool. On, on the podcast, podcast on in front of podcast. thousands and thousands of people. You I lied. lied to you. I know. It's cool. It's a damning thing. No, it's fine, dude. Also, I um, see how it is. We got a little, got a little flack. That's uh that's an industry term for <laughs> hater. Isn't that like a music file? 
Flack? Flack. It can be, yes. Lossless. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> My what compression a, knowledge. Oh, what an engineering thing to say. Oh, dot F-L-A-C. Yeah, yeah. Not compressed. <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I'll send you some flack. Lost, lost, <laughs> Want a little bit of flack over there, Dave? I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so for the 6-9 uh, commentary, and I don't know how much you care about this. You I care be- because I like his music and I'm so fucking conflicted <clears throat> because I turn this shit on and I'm like... Is and he I'm, a pedophile? And, and I'm, yeah, exactly. You know? It's, it's hard for me to forget that shit. Mm-hmm. But the... He snaps on the on the music. He, d- he does snap on Camo. I mean, Gummo. Com- Dude, I listened to Camo again the other <laughs> yeah, day. It's so good. It's pretty fucking it's good. It's fucking bangs. Yeah. You're just bumping that gay shit. You're yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, so what's the story? What's um, the real story? Because we talked about we talked about the we talked about this, I don't know, last time about how yeah, like he, we, we glanced on it. Okay, and, and someone we were, was like someone commented and goes, It's really cringy seeing you guys talk about that <laughs> whole situation because you don't know anything about it. And <laughs> so Which by the way, like I don't know a lot about everything. Yeah. Like what do you, what do you expect? We're just two guys. We're two talking guys. about everything. Yeah. It's not like we even have a specialty. We just talk about shit we know sort of a little bit about. That's it. If you've been listening thus far, you know that. Yeah, I think that's We get everything wrong all yeah, the time. All the time. <laughs> this is um, How do you not expect that by now? We get an F for fact checking. Yeah. 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 But, but you know, this is a uh, this is us coming full circle, you yeah. know. Pay, pay paying our due. Mm-hmm. And so uh, we got one comment that said it wasn't even him. It was another Daniel Hernandez. And to that, you know, I got to give a big fat <laughs> wrong. <laughs> okay. Uh, just going to have to pack that one. So here's the deal. Yeah, how are you going to give a shit for getting that wrong? Yeah. And then just saying it was a different person. That well, I, I'm just going to I'm just going to say that was a dedicated six nine fan. It was had it, to have been. It wasn't him. It was someone else. My Daniel. My six nine would never. <laughs> my beautiful my clown. Be- my loving six nine. <laughs> this beautiful rainbow that emits from the top of his <laughs> strange head. He's, he would never. He is a Disney channel. I don't know better. <laughs> so, <laughs> he, so here's the deal, and it's it is a little like. It's fucked up in many ways. Okay, right? so, so yeah, what's the story? So and you know this. Yeah, so I watched his interview. You did interview. some serious research. Serious research. Okay. So I watched his interview with academics. To the full 22-minute mark, I didn't get to seven and go, all right, I got the story. Like, mm-hmm. I read it, and then Jezebel did an article um, where they secured the criminal complaint, like the actual documents, and compared it against what he said. So 6 9 basically, he was at a studio, and he went to party with a dude named Tay Millie, I think. Tay Miller, Tay Millie, whatever, um, in Harlem. Okay. And they had a party. They were looking for girls. And then Tay <coughs> Millie called this girl over. And while at the party, the girl asked, she's, she asked um, 6 9 specifically, how old are you? And in his criminal complaint, he on record, he said that he told the girl he was 18. In the academics interview, he says, yo, I was 17. I was young. You know, I'm not no monster and this and that. And like, I, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't care to get into like this or that, but him saying he's 17 in the interview, but going on record and saying he was 18. No, the other way around. No, no, no. On in the academics interview says I was 17, but oh, on, oh, on gotcha, record, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. He he confirmed he was 18 at the time. Okay, so that's like you know that's a little that's a little weird, but it's neither here nor there. There's but one. Wasn't the girl 13? Yeah. So, but here's the thing. I looked at the picture, and. I, I don't know what she looks like. She's getting water thrown all over her face, and her face is all twisted up, so I can't speak to... You saw the picture? One of the... Yeah. One okay, of, okay. Because it was like it an is. Instagram post that he posted himself. Oh, really? Because that's the other thing. He was like, yo, I uploaded these videos of us myself. What he's leaving out are a couple of things. One, so there's three videos that are like used as evidence against him. Yeah. One of them, and the one he's not talking about, is... <laughs> well, there's one where... Uh, she's naked, sitting on his lap and this other dude's lap. And then there's another video where she's giving head to the other guy. Yeah. So here's my thing. He in That's a- fucked up. It is fucked up. But here's the thing. In his academics interview, he was like, yo, I didn't do anything. I never had sexual intercourse with her. Da, 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 da. That is true. That is true. But he was there while stuff was going on. And she was like, she did have her clothes off. And whether he likes it or not, I feel like at the end of the day, what people saw was he was 
close to 18 or 18 with a 13 year old girl and in my defense and other people's defense who probably like jumped at the headline like yo this dude's a pedophile the thing he got charged with was use of a minor in a sexual performance i'm just gonna say that I think it's pretty reasonable I read that and think, hmm, this guy might be a pedophile. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's what that is. That's just lawyers speak for yeah. pedophile. Yeah, this guy, he likes kids. Huh. Yeah. So, the, and Jesus then like in his fuck. academics interview, he was like, oh, when I found out she was 13, I wrote a letter to like her family, like this and that. Well, that was court ordered. <laughs> oh, was it? Yeah. So his, G- and the whole reason I read into this is because of his GED thing. Like his shit. Yeah, okay. So explain that. So the GED is, is part of his plea deal. So there's like a long list of stuff that he has to do like to not go back to jail for like one to three years. Okay. So was he already in jail for this? No. So he he got um, – the girl went missing. Some detectives went looking for him. Uh, Wait, what? The girl went missing? Yeah. That's what kind of kicked it off, I guess, because the girl had like disappeared. So these detectives working on the case – um, because it was a minor, they told him. And, and I, f- I f- felt for him in this moment in the interview, he was like, yo, I was sitting there. Because here's the thing. He went to the precinct. He went to the precinct twice because people called him, like, threatening him. Like, yo, she was a minor. You're going to get fucked up. Turn yourself in, this and that. So, like, 6 9 wasn't, like, I, I get where he's coming from in that. Like, he's like, he's not a monster as much as, like, he talks all, like, this hardcore shit. When it came to that situation, he actually did his, he actually did his, like, the adult thing. He went to the precinct twice. He was like, yo, I keep getting these calls and they keep saying my name. Like, are you sure you're not looking for me? Like he, he wasn't afraid it because, so he did it like with one call and then the detectives came by his house and then his mother told him. And then, so he went to the precinct again. He was like, yo, I swear to God, you guys are trying to find me. Yeah. Like what the fuck? Like, what do you want to talk about? So finally he gets a hold of the detectives. They come get him and then they just start cuffing him. And he's like, yo, what the fuck? And then they're like, because in his mind, the girl was not 13. He didn't, like, he legit did not know that she was 13. So he goes, he does this interview, and then... I mean, well, uh, can whole, you, like, see it? <laughs> like, But that's the thing, is, like, in the one picture I saw, her face didn't look 13. Okay. But that's a very, like, that's a that's a gray area, yeah. you know what I'm saying? That's yeah, perception. Yeah. Um, either way, I, I fucking got really interested in this, because it's actually, like, it was kind of interesting to see how, like the screenshot of the criminal complaint got turned into this pedophile thing. And it's been interesting to me to see how six, nine has like kind of handled it. He was so confident, like, yo, this, like, this isn't a big deal that he just ignored it. That's why he didn't say anything for a while, but now he feels like, okay, it's just hit a max where everyone's like, yo, you're a fucking pedophile, this and that, which I don't think he can really be mad at people for. Hmm. Cause at the end of the day, they see him with a 13 year old girl and it's, it, it's a matter of perception. Like someone could say, oh, well, seniors date freshmen. Not everyone thinks that's cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So. So, and it's and it's kind of just a matter of him, of believing, believing whether or not he actually didn't know she was 13. Uh, kind, I mean, kind of, you know. How, how do you know he went to the precinct a couple times? Did, well, he he articulated that and he did. Like he went on record like, like, like so, so fast forward, he was talking to the two detectives and mm-hmm. he's like panicking. He's like, yo, Cause they were like, they're showing him pictures and he's like identifying people like just, you know, calm. And then they're like, she's 13. And he's like, he's like, wait, no, 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 no. And that's when like the shit hit the fan. He was like, yo, I did not do anything with that girl. I'll take a DNA test. I'll like, he starts articulating all these things he'll do. He's like, you take my phone, you take whatever. Like, I swear to God, like, wait, but this is just what he was saying in the academics interview. Right. This was, and this is all true. And this is all true. How do you know it's true? Because uh, Jezebel got the like criminal complaint, oh. and like they, I think they got court documents like validating like some most of what he was huh. saying. There's just certain things in the academics interview that he spun a little bit that was like like writing the letter that was con- that was part of his plea deal. Okay, like he had to do that. <laughs> so, like you know, th- that was the thing that drove oh, that's me nuts. So funny is I was like, yo, six nine. Like in my mind, I'm like, you're doing a good job of like telling the story, like clearing you up. Why, why spin like these minor details? You know what I'm saying? Like he didn't, I don't think he gained anything by being like, yo, I wrote a letter to them. Like, I, cause people can very easily verify like, well, you didn't do that on your own. Yeah. Volition. Yeah. 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 He so may have, like that automatically kind of disqualifies everything. Right, you know, it hurts him said. a little bit. Well, yeah. I mean like, how can you trust anything now that right, he right, right. spins little shit right. like that? But so I don't know. Neither here nor there. The thing that was like, that like gave me chills and I, I felt for him in that instance he was like, or in that moment, he was like, dude, 
I offered like DNA tests and all shit. And they, he was like, the detective goes, Daniel, Daniel, calm down. We already have all of that. And then he was like, wait, what? He's like, when it's a minor, the FBI is involved. So we've been tapping all your stuff, your phone, your email. We have all that already. So don't worry about it. What the fuck? Yeah. And I was like, yo, that is fucking crazy. And so he's sitting there like, so they're like, we're arresting you because you were there. That's it. And because there's that image of you with her, like naked, that's it. Like, and, and that picture alone is what has earned him the one to three years. Cause it, and, huh. and, and the charge is the one that he uploaded himself. The one that he, well, no, no, no. So the one he uploaded is just him sitting with her and they're throwing water on her. Okay. But I think they secured two other videos that might've just been on his phone or whatever. Like, I don't think he uploaded the video of the girl sucking his homie's dick. I don't, I don't think that went up because no one has that. Um, Jeez. and that's the thing he didn't, he didn't discuss in the interview. Cause I'm pretty sure it's crucial to the case. So now yesterday there's, or was today, today's Wednesday. So Tuesday, uh, there's the XXL article about him passing his GED and, uh, to get the fucking story straight there too. He actually passed everything, but the science portion, <laughs> which is hilarious. Oh, I mean, that's the hardest yeah, part. That's the I hardest mean, part. Right? Come on. <laughs> right. No, I really thought it'd be like algebra or some shit. And he was like, nah, man, I got that. Just, pfft, it, you know? matrices and a, a matrices? Plus, yeah just like knocking it down just like high algebra GED is high school right yeah okay yeah, it's probably like basic algebra yeah right yeah he's like why equals it's MX. like find x yeah y equals mx plus b you know what i'm saying like he was like this ain't shit equals mx plus b yeah he was just killing that he was like man <laughs> let me show you how to plot a line bitch. find the limit uh, find the limit uh. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Find the limit. I plot looking sticky. <laughs> Pythagorean theorem and shit. <laughs> oh my god. I'm actually curious, uh, does GED like basic algebra or geometry? Like was he having to do proofs? What do you mean? Remember that? What? Geometry proofs? Yeah. Yeah, like I am wondering, like just imagining him doing real mundane shit like that is really funny. Yeah, to me. just anything. Yeah. <laughs> imagining him doing anything is really funny. <laughs> and, like anything normal. And, like imagine him just like like cleaning his place. <laughs> just with his hair. Yeah. Just fucking <laughs> rainbow guy. Yeah. I'd be like, yo, six nine, you wanna come outside? He's like, nah. I gotta study this uh, <laughs> RNA, DNA, protein sequence. I gotta pass my GED, fam. No, that's not even, dude. It's like, what is high school science? It's like, isn't it like biology? Yeah, like, like learning RNA. about like cells and shit. Yeah. What's RNA? Oh, uh, see here. Wow, we go. wow, oh, yeah. How the fuck am I? <laughs> now I'm a hypocrite too. I'm bagging on this guy because he doesn't know science, and I don't even yeah, whatever, know that. Man. What the fuck ever? I don't know nucleuses and N nuclei and. and um, and osmosis. Yeah. That's this kind of studio you learn in high school, you know right? what? And after all this, someone's going to be in the comments like, you got that wrong. I know. We're going to be like, Fuck! I know. We just got to get used to that shit. Because <laughs> it's going to happen every time. And the thing is, mm -hmm. we don't know anything. I, at least me. You know some shit about some shit. Thanks, man. I know some shit about. No, you know some shit. Like, I, if you want to ask me about fucking. I'd I don't be even, fat. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> eating. You want to ask me anything about eating. <laughs> fast food. <laughs> Chick-fil-A. I know a lot about Chick-fil-A. Yo, but wait, real, even funnier. So my, my six, nine black hole, the research black hole <clears throat> led me to, uh, watching a video of a dude claim that six, nine fucked his girl on the academics Twitch stream. What? <laughs> I was like, man, it, it, it was really funny because at, at the end he FaceTimes uh, six, nine. And he's like, yo man, this dude just got on my stream claiming that you fucked this girl. And he's like, nah, man, I got a daughter at home. I ain't fucking nobody, <laughs> bitch. He's lying. And I'm like, I don't know, dog. I don't know. But the funny thing is he was like, the, the dude who's claiming it, he's like, yeah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like they seen him with my girl at the CVS. And I'm like, all right, this story can't be true. Cause I know <laughs> six, nine is not going into a CVS. Like he's way past CVS. This Especially point like life. on a date, essentially. Yeah, he's, you know, like, what the fuck are you doing with a random girl? <laughs> it's like, at, like picking up condoms yeah. on the way home from no. the bar or whatever. Like, no. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? Like, he's like, I'm going to stop in and grab some Jolly Ranchers real quick. Is that, is that cool? Yeah, is that Do cool? You want anything? Um, I just need some contact solution. My shit's up. <laughs> Sorry. I just need, I need more like hair dye. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. ran out and just got to keep that. How long do you think that shit takes? What? His like, hair? hair maintenance for him. <sighs> I don't know. That shit is, um, it looks complicated. You know what I mean? Yeah. Crazy. It's, you see the video? There's some like Instagram thing. Someone's like, 
some like blood comes up to him and he's like, Hey man, like we're cool. And then like a crib comes up and he's like, no, no, I'm cool with you too. Like I'm good in my hood. And he like pulls out the blue part of the hair. <laughs> <laughs> it really wasn't that funny of a sketch, but it's right. like, that's kind of like the joke surrounding him right now. Right. Is he's all like, yo, I'm cool in my hood, man. I'm yeah. cool. I'm cool. <laughs> like, yo, and I was like, your- yeah, but like what, what are, what like where do your <laughs> Latin Kings put your fucking, he's like, no, I got the yellow. They're like, yeah, yeah, oh, 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 hey, oh, what's up, bro? Yeah, my yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're just kind of like a, like a chameleon sort yeah. of like a gang chameleon. <laughs> <laughs> turf comedian turf chameleon yeah. he, he, just imagine him stepping out onto like gang turf and like changing colors is fucking crazy that's like he's like another x-men dude he's like a fucking dude he's just, a shapeshifter yeah he's there with like rogue and wolverine and yeah. they're like we gotta find these guys he's like i could do it <laughs> i could do it uh, i'm a creepy uh, go real sticky uh. they're like yo he gonna he gonna get all the crips out right here why is he screaming <laughs> When he does that, Although, he, he he collects energy. Yeah, and then he can just like let out a real big scream. Yeah, and just take out the. Blood. <laughs> what were you gonna say? We, I, I don't know where you were going. With that one, I don't but, know. Um, that's his superpower: screaming. Yeah, just I like that. Um, I gotta give him a little bit of credit though for his for his rapping style, right? Mm-hmm. Everyone's mm-hmm. like, oh, he's just screaming, whatever. But after yesterday's studio session, we were just screaming into the mic. I'm oh, yeah. like, that's fucking hard. And, it, and it's hard to make it sound good. Yeah. My voice hurts, dude. Yeah. <laughs> dude. Um, <laughs> I didn't realize this, but like, you know, Joji. Yeah. He like posted something on his Twitter like a while ago about how he like is basically done YouTube, right? Yeah. Or like retiring Filthy Frank, I like, guess, okay. a character. And uh, the, the note was like, <clears throat> was like, uh-huh. after a lot of thought. Blah blah blah, and also like um, medical issues in my vocal cords that I like, don't want to get into. Oh, he's like, I have to retire this character, basically. Like, Filthy Frank's done, and uh, I think it's because he screamed so, so much, much and like did like he yeah. must have done like damage. Yeah, I thought I, that was kind of interesting. I honestly think I've done the same thing. From what? Uh, I used to scream a shitload, like from like age sixteen to why? Just like being funny, just like yelling at people and like just screaming my ass off. Like, okay. Uh, just being an idiot, general idiot. That's hilarious. Yeah. Screaming. Yeah. Screaming actually is really funny. Scream- I mean, a shout out. Go check out our, our new song on, on the vlog, um, Elon Fuck My Wife, version one. Wait, is it out? It will be when okay. this is uploaded. Tomorrow? What's the, what are you talking about? Tomorrow night. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Oh, oh when it goes up for free? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. It should be on our SoundCloud by then too, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It'll yeah we wrote up. a song about, um, <laughs> we wrote a song, should we tell him? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Of course. We wrote a song about Elon Musk fucking our wives, and um, it's pretty fucking intense. Yeah, super. It's pretty intense. <laughs> I'm proud of it, though. It's so shitty, it's but it's, so like, shitty. really good shitty. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> For some reason, like, when I when it ends, I, like, want to listen to it again. Yeah, same. The screaming is hilarious. <laughs> it gets me. It's, like, the fucking quintessential 16-year-old yeah. humor. Yeah. That shit is amazing, though. Um. <laughs> While we're talking about, I want to talk about uh, fucking like live streams and shit because, like, I Ooh. feel like the most what? I mean, this is so funny. We're just gonna keep cutting each other off. Like, you know what? Before you <laughs> get into that, yeah, actually, I want to get that into thought, this. Put a pin in that. Put a pin in that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, real quick, speaking of uh, recording, dude. Before you say that, oh, yeah, um, go ahead. I was, uh, I was actually thinking. Oh wait, um, you, you know what? What? I can already read your thought based okay. on the way your eyebrows are moving. Right. Hold that thing about. Um, pedicures yeah, yeah i'm gonna yeah. talk about something else yeah, yeah yeah so dude i and i know you want to get into the circus right now but right. i think before you do that um we should probably talk about like industry plants uh yeah in true. The, you know what i mean in the music industry, music industry. Right, yeah, i feel like we should it. probably talk about that yeah, just because right. go ahead we were on that tangent and um so <laughs> I thought you were gonna fucking cut me nope. off. I had nothing. I'm gonna let you just die up no, there. No, I had nothing. Actually, I probably would have started talking about Russ. Honestly, yeah. yeah. Oh, you let's not talk. It. Let's not talk about Russ. No, because I'm doing a video about him. Yeah, and I feel like it's just too much right it now. Is. It is too much right now. So, did you listen to his last song? God, I don't want to <laughs> fucking just talk. Joking, I'm fucking with you. So, uh, speaking of recording music and uh, <laughs> recording this podcast, we are. Officially moving in to a ding ding palace. Yeah, we we got a studio finally. We, got we a, fucking told you. Yep, yeah, we got a small one right now, but we're moving into a bigger one on uh, February nineteenth. Yes. So, ding ding palace, full effect. We're gonna deck it out. We're gonna get some, so you you won't have to watch this anymore yeah, behind us. Yeah, Although you, 
We probably could just turn this off. Yeah, we could just turn it off. Like, <laughs> Someone was like, it's really distracting seeing this shit in the background. I mean, all right. But I'll leave it. I kind of like it, honestly. <laughs> it's like, well, no, you guys have to understand. This is just our Bitcoin account. <laughs> no. Just, you know, moving. And no, this is good for me because I can see how long I have to wait till I can eat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. You on know the what? Bottom. The trigger for time to food. This should be T- time to food. TTF right there. Twenty five minutes. You know what it is, everybody. You know why I make this shake? Because this shake is what keeps me going forever. I could just drink this and we could go to two hours. <laughs> and Cody, he treats this like a marathon. He's like, "All right, I'm gonna go in empty stomach, ready." That's not what you do in a marathon. What are you doing in a marathon? You don't drink go in pee? empty stomach. Yeah, you, drink you pee. Yes, you. Yes, <laughs> you drink. hook up a catheter, put it right into your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I love peeing into myself. Anyway, live streams. Okay, so I want to like so every fucking time academics is brought up. People are like, oh yeah, I was on academics. Live like stream. you see, like the, the 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 recording of academics like Instagram stream where someone's like live streaming on Twitch in his yeah. Instagram stream, yep. and then Six Nine calls in <laughs> yeah. and he does like a radio show it's, on the Twitch Instagram live on Periscope. It's so weird. And every time I see like a screenshot or some shit of him talking to someone or anyone on live stream, <laughs> it just looks like a fucking spaceship dashboard. It's mm-hmm. like what the fuck is happening here? Yeah. Why is there a green screen with a smaller version of you on the right? There's like six cutouts of you. And then there's like comments like, you know, to be flying up and down to the left. There's donation things. The person live streaming is just like, yo, shout out to like, like, you know what I mean? Like EXO. Cypher Burp, 4. Cypher 4. Thank then, you so much for like the whatever gif. term. Has <laughs> some gif in the middle of like fucking, I don't know, Napoleon Dynamite dancing. It'll yeah. be like, <laughs> like that dude. Um, yeah. Dr. Disaster. Yes. Every time someone donated, this voice would be like, thanks for donating to the Slick Daddy Club. Or like, yeah. welcome to the Slick Daddy Club. Put this big ass mustache on screen. And I'm like, this job just looks horrible. Every I just, three seconds to be like, yo, shout out Jacob three. Uh, thanks for the $1 donation. Jacob said, it's like old radio shit. I know. This song goes out to Lisa. I just think like as a, as a consumer, like how do you not get so intimidated by that? Like every time I turn on a live stream, I'm like, ah, there's like, it's like fucking overload. And I'm like, even the person donating, it's like $3 extra like XP zone or something like yeah. that. It's just some like weirdly specific thing for yeah. the, either the channel or just like live streaming in general. Yep. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't fucking understand. It's so messy. Yeah. How does anyone even learn how to live, how to get into like live streaming? Okay. Here's how you get, learn how to get into it. You go to. Uh, livecamgirls.com. <laughs> well, no, that I'm very experienced with. <laughs> I know how that works. So just imagine that. <laughs> but if the if the vibrator was connected to like I don't know Mario Kart, and then she was small, and then the Mario Kart was big, and you'd be like, no, make you big and make the Mario Kart small. Everything's the same. You're still in the chat trying to get her attention. Got it. Hi, I'm Cody. Got it. I'm so an influencer. 700k on YouTube. Right, right, right. Please hit me up. And, <laughs> but your message just keeps flying to the top. So you're like, fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, I'm going to donate. Donate more. Right. Gotcha. Hello. See me. Gotcha. Hello. Okay, so the, the naked girl is there, though. Yeah, she's there. And she gets still gets naked and everything. Yeah. Still gets naked. And oh, everything. she does? Yes. Oh. Oh. Yeah. On Twitch? I mean, oh, no, no. On Twitch. So Twitch is just like big sensor bar. So, okay, you lost me now. Okay. So now I'm not uh, really so getting it no anymore. Tits, so you're, you're out. Okay, Ye- got it. I just don't really understand. <laughs> No tits. So just, then why do people well, you know, watch? Gamers are the new sexy. <laughs> Dude, I had a friend in college who was signed up for my free cams or whatever. Yeah. And like. <laughs> was he good? Like paid it. What? Was he good at it? Yeah. He was. Yeah. Real <laughs> sexy. <laughs> he fucking paid a girl. Uh-oh. To like, to like. Oh, boy. I don't even want like I think she was like I think <laughs> Okay, I'll tell it. It was me, all right? I paid her to pee on it an was, iPad. <laughs> it wasn't you. It was like it just like in college it was like the most like what the fuck is this? Cuz he sent it out to everyone. Yeah. She like was like fingering her ass or something and oh. saying his name. <laughs> and he like sent it out to everyone and we we're like, "Yo, this is the coolest shit ever." <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you got this girl to say your name holy shit <laughs> dude bruh bruh snapped on this bruh, one snapped on that one holy god <laughs> dude oh, fuck man. i got a horrible transition on that one what? i will leave it alone no 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 oh okay. god no, all right it's really not nice. nice i'm gonna trust you on this it's really not nice. i'm gonna trust hey before you do that before you transition yeah let's um i got i got nothing 
You got nothing. I got nothing <laughs> that I want to talk about. Yeah, you've I'm been just... watching uh, that show Blue Planet? No. Uh, everyone... Is there a new season? Yeah. Oh, really? They came out with a new one. Oh, really? Yeah. Everyone go check out Blue Planet 2. It's fucking dope. Is it actually good? Yeah, it's actually good. I'm on, ep- I mean, episode two is out now. I've been waiting for this since last year. I've been really just, you know, we'll learn more about water. Mm. That blue ass water. Yeah. You gotta love that. Just it's so blue. No, it's dope. Is like they actually, uh, they're, a- they're able to go down and film at depths that they haven't been able to before. Whoa. So they, yeah, oh, so whoa. they, they f- so they, uh, more of those like, you know, crazy fish that just like look like they're skulls. Yeah. With the lights on them. Yeah. You know like I mean? a lot got, of that. Yeah. Well, yo, so there's this one fish. I forget the name. Um, it, after a certain period, starts producing testosterone and they just convert to male if they don't find a mate. It's the most alpha shit ever. Whoa. Just imagining a girl like for living in for 10 years and being like, you know, I just, I just can't find anyone that works for me. Laying down in her bed and then just waking up and being like, fuck. Okay. I'm going to hit the gym. I'm going to call uh, Bryce. And then like, just, yeah. they're just big and ugly after they fucking switch. And then wow. they just, they just start mating. And they're just dude. dudes. They're just dudes. It's, it's, it's honestly pretty hard. <laughs> that's, that's dumb hype. That's dumb hype. That is dumb hype. But then I also started getting this weird thing on the last episode where like, cause they went so far down and the shots were so crazy yeah. and all these fish were just in like darkness. I'm like, is this fake? Like I started questioning if this shit, any of it was real. I guess that's true. They could just fucking and make like, everything up. Yeah. So then I had like this weird idea where like, <laughs> how <laughs> high were you? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, just, you know, just a little, just a little bit. That's the most high thought ever. Yeah. Well, so Wait yeah. Wait a minute. Is this, is this, are, is Al- any of this? Alina, are we in a simulation? Take off your shirt right now. <laughs> I don't know if this is real. <laughs> <laughs> now that your pants too I, and here i'm gonna do mine too <laughs> let's compare are we real right now <laughs> so no i start looking at it because i'm like this could be cg like some of the sequences i'm like then i start you know i'm like yo bro this is fake i started imagining like what if we just ran out of animals oh, there's just no more and so education is like oh we gotta make some shit up you'll be at the end okay um what about like you know um fish that look like um Dicks, yep, dicks, and, and uh, they got lights on them, yeah, yeah, and they just like kind of, you know, those like stupid, like you know, like Tumblr girl lights that they fucking hang in their bedrooms yeah. or whatever. Let's hang one of those motherfuckers yeah, from off the, his head, off the forehead. Oh, even better. This dude's got just got just a lantern <laughs> hanging just, on his fucking head. Because imagine have- this guy's got a book light just fucking <laughs> hanging from his damn head. <laughs> that would suck ass. Yeah, just a fucking big. Unless ass. it was just pitch black all the time, then it would be kind of good. But then it's like, what you can only see up to here. Yeah, it is. So like they have this weird thing where like they produce like this like like neon jizz. Mm-hmm. They can just kind of shoot it out. They all like they have like these, well, not all of them, but like there's a large majority of these fish that can just come light. That's all. I had neon jizz. Yeah, which when I, I had thought, chlamydia. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that shit was awesome. Your your cum looks like it's. I'm perm- kidding, by the way. I didn't. <laughs> you sure? Yeah, I'm. I did. Okay. So, pretty sure. Pretty sure. Okay. Never yeah. been tested, but. Never been t- <laughs> Dude, imagine your nut is just is fucking. Here we go. <laughs> what? What? It's just permanently under a black light. <laughs> it, that would be the worst. Every dude would be like, "Yo, hold on. Like, I know you're right there, but watch this. <laughs> Yo, I can spell your name. Clarissa." <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a picture of us. Hold on. <laughs> Disgusting. I thought that was fucking dope. But that saw- is true. Just a spotlight, like directly onto your jizz. Yeah. Or it balls Always. everything. Yeah. It's just right in front. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, no. Some of them actually just like shoot it out. Like it's like a liquid that just like. And, and it's jizz. I mean, it could be. <laughs> I just say it is. <laughs> And then these giant fucking squid. Uh, nature's amazing, isn't Na- it? Nature is sick, dude. Damn, man, neon jizz. Neon jizz, bro. No, and then and then they the animals just start getting weirder and crazier and just man, this is the funniest one to me. There's a fish that has, just lives on the bottom of the ocean and it's so small. And so I'm they like, went all the way down like, to the bottom to of the, the ocean. Fucking floor. That's how what, the ex- fuck. Exactly. Exactly. You see? You don't gotta be high to be like, wait a second. 
Did they say how they did it, or they were no, they, they just show like, like this big well, it's ass. It's like thanks to whatever, just like advances in technology, yeah. we're now able to yeah. hit the bottom of the ocean, yeah. and then people just believe that. Yes, that's where I was like, oh, all right, man, they don't. All right, I want, I want. Open some. your eyes, sheeple. <laughs> don't you see? <laughs> no, nah, man, I wanted them to like, like go into the science a little bit, mm-hmm. and I'm like, you can't just like pull a fast one on me. Like, yeah, yeah. they're just like, no, we just like extended the rope. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, wait, wait, hmm? It's like before it was just like not long enough, and then we just added more <laughs> for me, this season. To me, it's like a we, we got down to the bottom. We just had to add more rope. It's just like when a guy gets caught cheating and he like tries to skip over a really big detail. Mm. Like, no, 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 no. Um, I, I just, I went to the club alone. Listen, and so. <laughs> You're like, wait, wait uh, hold on. You're like, no, 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 no. no. Mo- but you've never done that. Yeah, but I did it that yeah, day. So, just, I, you know, the so, more important part is, um, so Daniel, uh, I met up with him at, at 12. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, I was just, um, I was getting coffee with Steve for seven hours. Yeah. Overnight. I'm sorry. Bye, I love you. No, no wait a <laughs> second. I just need to know what you did. I was just in the coffee, you know, just the coffee. <gasps> We're just there. Anyway, crazy stuff happens at the coffee shop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's you wouldn't believe. Right there, though. Uh-oh. Speaking of this, yeah. Before you say that, I'm gonna, <laughs> before you get into that, dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take this um, and say that don't watch the movie Something Borrowed. Don't watch that movie. What What is that? Something borrowed. Something borrowed. Borrowed. I thought I said that really Canadian at first. Yeah. Something borrowed is how I would normally say that in Canada. Yeah. Something borrowed. Borrowed. Um, it's a rom com. It's it's bad. <laughs> I'm not going to do the fucking thing that I always do where I just say the plot of the movie and I have no yeah. insights. I'm just going to say it's bad. It's someone cheats on someone. Mm-hmm. It's basically like two best friends and one of them is yep. engaged, yep. but the best friend is in love with the husband yeah. or the fiance yeah. and the fiance starts fucking the best friend. Got it. Really yeah. fucked up. Pretty brutal love triangle. Right. Rom-coms generally <clears throat> suck ass for me. I don't know. I watched. Um, you watched. Okay, uh, here. I watched How to Be Single. Okay. It's a, it's a new one. Uh, it has Anders from Workaholics in it. Yeah. And uh, Allison Brie, who, God damn it, she's so goddamn hot. She's my she's my ideal yeah? celebrity. Yeah. Ideal celebrity. Or that, what I mean, what I mean by that is she's my cele- like one celebrity crush. What one of a hundred? Yeah, yeah, one of them is what I meant to say there. <laughs> no, I mean like that's the celebrity. I'm, I you know it's like Harry Styles to to girls. Okay. Yeah. Sixteen. Hot. What? Harry Styles is not 16. What is he? Four? Wait, no, he's like 20. He's like our age. I don't know. 25. Something e- like that. Everyone in One Direction. Also, in my we're mind. not 25. <laughs> yeah. Everyone in One Direction is just trapped at like three to me. <laughs> just they're all three. Like when they show them with abs and shit, I'm like, oh, that baby is fucking <laughs> wow. <laughs> the baby makes me look like shit. It's a great hair. That's a fucking, that baby, this baby dances. How old is that baby? Like 24? <laughs> <laughs> So it's objectively bad in your opinion. Well, it's like, oh, no, no, no. Uh, how to be single. Yeah. Also, it got like a 14% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah. And Kelsey's like, why do you look at that stuff? And I'm like, because it's, it's right. Yeah. It's there for a reason. It's fucking right. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. That's never been wrong. I think they're with Except for Crank, I think doesn't have the highest um, rating. rating. And that's ever? my favorite movie of all time. So <laughs> of course it is. So that one's wrong. 100%. Oh, yeah. Well, my fucking heart is connected to a wall. <laughs> I gotta fuck you to get fine fast. <laughs> Jason Statham is the funniest actor to me. Someone asked him like, "So have you ever thought about doing like more dramatic roles or like you know some stupid interview question?" And he was like, "I think I'm gonna stick to what works for me." <laughs> like, like, come on, bitch. He's done like. He'd done like 50 Jason Statham bald headed roles. Yeah. Like what? Well, he's abruptly just going to be in Game of Thrones. Yeah. I mean, he could be. He could be. be. He, yeah, he absolutely could, could be. be. He's yeah, a great true. actor. That's true. You know, he used to be a diver. Oh, did he? Yes. He was on the British national team. Wow. I think he went to Worlds. Wow. For diving. Wow. I know. I have one no of idea us, what any one of that means. means. <laughs> what do you mean? What's Worlds? What, what is that? Like World Championships. Oh, okay. You got to be like really fucking good to go to World Championships like, or something. Is that like athlete slang for like World Championships? Yes. Worlds? Yes, I don't worlds. Know anything about that? Yeah, I was playing video games all through those uh, those years. You guys don't have a world championship in video games? F- not fuck no. Really? I mean, they did, but like they had like specific league names, you know. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's just like funny. I don't know. I used to dive. Yeah. If you didn't know that. Uh. Oh, I did. Yes. <laughs> competitive diver. <laughs> competitive yeah. Diver. Twelve years. <laughs> Sick man. Yeah. Went to Olympic trials, so I mean, that's not a big deal. I mean, I wouldn't. Are you gonna be like one of those dads? I, I used to, you know, 
I used to get in the water a little bit myself. <laughs> let like, me this just, is soccer. We don't. Let me just uh, <laughs> see if I can. Sorry, it's been a while. I just like fucking pull off a triple backflip. And then uh, you hurt your back. And yeah. you have to, they have to call the ambulance <laughs> yeah. and your fucking L5 is shattered. And your son is like, oh, my God, my dad's a pussy. And you're like, <laughs> it's just a, you know. Son, you see that? See that? See that? Uh, As they're pulling me away on the stretcher. <laughs> I stuck you it. See the, I stuck it. <laughs> I stuck it. Not bad for an old man, huh? <laughs> They're like, sir, you're losing a lot of blood internally. <laughs> it's almost over for you. So, um, but yeah, so this is how to be single is actually a good one. It's oh, actually okay. a good rom com. I'm a fan of rom coms. I like the genre I, of movie. Yeah, I just feel like it's all the same. No. Two, two people and love and or one person and trying to find it or yeah, but this gets sticky. every Jason Statham movie is the same too. Yeah, but it's different because it's like you uh, you enjoy Statham being his like, eh? like it's always fun to see Statham be like, you took some from my girl. I'm going to take your life. Like, that's always <laughs> yeah, awesome. Yeah. Like, fuck yeah. But <laughs> whenever I see a story about like, oh, I just don't know. Like, I got to choose between him or her. Like, because it's modern. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she's choosing between Jason Sudeikis or... Allison Brie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's like, I just don't know <laughs> who I am anymore. And then it's like, you know, it's like all this bullshit always rolled up into one. It's a coming of age love story between five people where they explore <laughs> who they're trying to be. Oh God, that's just life, man. Yeah, yeah, it's just not yeah. fun. Yeah. I agree. You know, it is a good rom com, though. It's like Alina's favorite. Um, Celeste and Jesse Forever. That should have make you cry really the, i she loves that movie she's like it's such a good story it's so good and so tangible that's a movie i like i watched it once and i fucking i like get scared when i see it like okay. <laughs> the story is so jarring like the ending is fucking brutal what's it about i mean here we go just spoiling the plot so okay no, I don't want to spoil just it. Just give me a synopsis. So it's about uh, Rashida Jones and Andy Samberg. Mm -hmm. They were in a long-term relationship, and now it's on the rocks. And you just kind of watch it unfold from there. He's Ooh. kind of a bum, and she's like very put together and in her life. And then you watch how it, you know, love plays in that scenario. And that's a very real scenario. And that one, I like. You know, I'll see like. Oh, is this when you didn't have a job? Is no, that no, when, no. Is that, no, 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 no. Is this like you watch it like right after you no, got no, fired? No, no, not at all. Not at all. No, no. It's nothing to do with it. I, I fucking hate how these moments in life. Yeah. Whenever some shit like this happens, when you're at a certain place in life, you find a song or like or a, a movie, movie. And you're like, well. That's exactly your situation. You're like, great. And it's so like, I remember, I remember this one time after my college girlfriend and I broke up. <laughs> we were still talking. You know what I mean? We were in that like weird, yeah. like after stage where you're like still fucking. And, but like, you're like, well, we're never, you know what I mean? We're not going to get back together. But like, you know, still love you. And, you know, ah. <laughs> so that shit. And I found this. Uh, it was. um it was the song. Now you're just somebody that I used to yeah. know. Somebody. Well, you know what I mean? Somebody. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That shit I didn't want to. Wait, do it one know. more time? Somebody. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You I know got what I mean? Yeah. Um, so it was that shit, and I didn't listen to the lyrics. I was just not. like, this is a great song. Sure. When that shit came out, that that was like, you know, yeah. that, that was like a paradigm shift in music when that fucking song oh, came out. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's so, talk about that. I, <laughs> you heard it here first, folks. Somebody I used to know was a paradigm shift <laughs> in music. Quote that. Dude, that song changed shit. In, in what? For the worse. <laughs> in what sense? More people. I don't know. I just, I just don't really remember anything sounding like that when it came out. It was like very acoustic and it yeah. was like, well, oh, that was cool. I don't, I don't know. know. Again, this is something that I don't. The like we're gonna have some people in the comments being like, "You're wrong." Well, and I am wrong, hundred percent. The musical experience of that song is always interesting too, because like I could never fully get the lyrics in between like my personal crying and masturbating to what used to be, and so like simultaneously. Yeah, I would just put that on and okay. just kind of you know jerk it to previous memories. <laughs> this is terrible. It's fucked up. <laughs> so no, no so, wait, wait, no. wait. So so she. So I sent her the song and I was like, this is a great song. You should listen to it. And she, and she was like, she was like, it's kind of fucked up that you sent me this. <laughs> yeah. Is this the thing that girls listen to lyrics and songs and guys don't? Is no. that a thing? Okay. Is that like a no, stereotype? I, I think that's, I think that might just be. <laughs> really? <laughs> you. Yeah. I mean, I'm more like, I listen, I don't know. I'm, I'm, a, I, I'm more listening to the whole thing together sure. and maybe it's just like the vibe or whatever the fuck. No, I, I don't know what I enjoy about listening to music, but like. <sighs> 
I, know, I just know Kelsey likes the lyrics a lot of the time. Yeah. Isn't that why girls like country music? I don't I don't know. <laughs> this is just a sweeping, giant sweeping generalization, I guess. It's me being sexist. But um, so I sent her this song and I was like, this is a great song. You should listen to it. And she was like, it's really fucked up because it's about like yeah. breaking up and yeah. like and like You're moving on and that yes. sort of shit. And I was like, oh, wait, was it? What? And I listened to the lyrics again. And I'm like, I, I should never have said this to you. I swear to God, if I didn't listen to the lyrics. And she's like, sure you didn't. And I'm like, no, I didn't. How fucked up would this be if I'd sent this to you? Holy shit. That would be like Alina being like, hey, Noel, I think we should sit down and watch this movie. And you're like, have you seen this before? She's like, yeah, I've seen it before. I'm like, and you're like, it's good. She's like, yeah, it's great. Like right after you get fired and you're like, you sit down to watch this movie and like, you're hey, wait, this is a- in the middle of it. This is a, wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, what? It's like really <laughs> similar to our situation. This guy's like coughing a total on my bum. weed. Yeah, he's a he's a bum. <laughs> and this girl is put together. She also had the same skin tone. Um, this is fucked up. Yeah, yeah. That movie. Like, I'll see the cover for Insidious, and I'm like, yeah, we could watch that. And Celeste and Jesse comes up, and I'm like, oh, uh, no, 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 no. I, I can't. You get, like my weird doctor um, flashbacks. Uh, yeah. You get like you have PTSD from watching that movie. No, it fucking it hurt me to really? watch that film. I was like carved out from the inside. Speaking of crying during shit, <laughs> Hamilton. Oh, you cried. Wept like a baby. Like a baby. Like a freshly born baby. <laughs> Dude, I got to the point where I was sitting there. I, I started crying. I started crying and I leaned forward so that no one would really see me. Because sure. I didn't know. It was a really weird moment for me because I, I didn't know if it was the time. To cry? Like normally in movies, something sad happens. You're like, all right, oh. this is the time where everyone cries. And it's kind sure. of like a, you know, generally accepted in the theater that everyone's like, all right, this is it. This yeah. is the sad moment. It's okay to cry here. I wasn't sure. I right. was so fucking emotional in this moment in Hamilton. Yeah. No performance has ever made me feel like this before. Really? Ever in my entire life. I was like leaning forward and I was like crying and I was like, I, I hope everyone else is crying. I really hope. And it got to the point where I could have audibly cried. Okay. I could have went like. <laughs> oh, wow. I could have done one of those. Wow. I had to like hold that back. I had to hold sounds back. That's wow. how hard I was fucking crying. Wow. He said, wow. how great. I was. I was. Audibly crying. Yeah, I've never had that. Exactly. You when you get when you can hear a person cry, that's some hard crying. It's like yeah. <laughs> you should you should have did it because nose is going. Dude on stage would have been like, oh my god, I'm fucking killing it. Yeah, no, but people were. <laughs> Eventually, I'm like, I hear Kelsey like she, she has her hand on me and she's like shaking and I was like, oh thank god she's crying too. So then I leaned back and I was like, let's cry together. You right. know what I'm saying? I yeah. was. You know, I was too proud before, but then I saw her breaking down, and I was like, "No, this is yeah. good. We can share this moment." <laughs> I Dude, just, I, I it, oh, it was, and it was like up until that point, mm-hmm. it was like, um, good, yeah. really good, yeah. You know, but it was just like another musical to me, sure. And then that scene happened. I was like, "All right, I understand now why people say this like changed their life." And I, like, I've never felt that way from something. I feel that. Yeah, normally when <laughs> films hit me with the with the cry thing, I just do like the. <sighs> Yeah, and you think about other things. You're like, all right, I'm just I'm not no, gonna cry. I just own it, and then like the tears, like it's like there's some there's that little piece of me that's still alive that comes out for a second, and then like I just crush it. <laughs> I like reach into my soul and crush the life like a big dark character yeah. in my own body. Yeah, you will never release again. Just one of the last. <laughs> emotions yeah. in you is like trying to surface yeah and i just keep you know what i mean it's it. one of those fish on the bottom of the <laughs> yeah. fucking ocean yeah oh. that swum up <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah. you know by the help by the by the assistance of its wait, fucking wait, guiding wait, life wait i'm not done with that fucking fish hold up okay, that okay. fucking dude it's a it's a it's a fish that lives on the bottom of the fucking ocean stop you know what i'm saying it, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. What do I mean? Like, stop. Like, just listen. This fish. L- just think about that. On the that. bottom of the ocean. Bro, do you know what I'm saying? Bro, think about that. He's at the bottom of all that fucking water. Just, and he's not getting smushed to death. He, he, the way he eats, they call it like a f- surface frog or some shit. His fins have evolved into little feet that he uses to kind of push around on the seafloor. Oh, damn. And it was, I'm like, you're telling me. I'm like, bro, you telling me there's a motherfucking fish frog at the bottom of this water? Bullshit. <laughs> I did not believe that for fucking three seconds. No, but the one that changes its gender. Yeah. That could, one was believable. I mean, you see it. Like, you see it become ugly. 
Yeah, but don't you see the fish, the fish frog bouncing around on the bottom of the I mean, shit? You do, but oh, you're saying you don't see the evolution of the, I mean, of the feet. It's growing probably all real, what? and it, yeah, and it, I was actually crying laughing because watching it swim away, it like it like jumps up and does like it has to move its whole body and just looks like a like literally like a Cadillac just freaking out, like just like pivoting left and right. It looks like some video game shit. What do you think, like people like Kyrie Irving? think when they watch blue planet why, why, why Kyrie Irving because he thinks the fucking earth is flat oh does he I yeah didn't know he's one of those yeah I mean they probably just think it's bullshit or they probably have their own theories about it like I do but I don't know I mean I just like if you, you know there's a part of you that's like yeah it might be fake but it's also like it, the earth is fucking weird man shit like that exists I mean I, I'm joking well I mean I'm half joking I think some of it could be fake but you know like I believe the um, the sex changing fish. I want to believe that one. Yeah, that one's fucking that hard body. That's so tough <laughs> to just fucking grow a dick. Like that is so tough. It's like, well, I can't get laid, so yeah, and just pulls a dick out of her <laughs> vagina. Just, <laughs> I'm gonna fuck everybody in this room. That is so fucking tough. I, it's uh, all the respect, res, respect, the mad respect to that <laughs> fish. So. Uh, damn it! I was gonna say so. Cry- oh yeah, crying, crying. Yeah. So Hamilton. Yeah. So you you say go see it, dude. Absolutely. Have you not seen it? Um, no, I don't think I ever absolutely will. go see that shit if you have the <laughs> chance. We actually lucked out super hard. Yeah. We like you Cut. know I've I've heard shit about Hamilton forever and ha- like musicals to me are like animated movies in the sense where you never really want to watch them sure at least for me it's not something that i'm like oh nah, yeah. i'm so stoked for this new the new cars movie or whatever the fuck <laughs> oh wow fucking ooh, toaster has feelings Let's yeah start. exactly yeah exactly <laughs> but every time i watch one of those i'm like that was the best movie i've ever seen <laughs> and it's the same thing with music musicals when i went and saw jersey boys in vegas yeah my oh. pa- i was like my parents are fucking taking me to jersey boys what the f- i don't want to watch what jersey boys this? bunch of guys from new jersey bouncing <laughs> singing around and i watched it i was like that was one of the best things I've ever seen in my entire life. It was so fucking good. So we're like on Wednesday in New York. I have the day off. So we're like, all right, let's, um, let's, uh, like, you want to do something touristy? Like, I don't know, go see the fucking Statue of Liberty or some shit. And she yeah. was like, yeah, why don't we go see a musical? Yeah. And I was like, ah, oh, man, whatever, fine. You like those. Let's do it. And she was like, what about we could go see Wicked? Uh, or we could go see Hamilton maybe. And I'm like, there's no fucking way we're going to get tickets for Hamilton. <laughs> just well, there's like a, a lottery for tickets. Just being a typical dude, just like, eh. Man, fuck that shit anyway. That's that would have been me. I mean, for me, it was just like you won't get tickets. I didn't even know. I don't even. I didn't even know anything about Hamilton. Sure. If I knew a little bit more, I would have known how fucking truly hard it is to get tickets to that show. Yeah. They like it's like people enter a lottery every single day to get tickets. Holy shit. Yeah, and it's like if you want, if you actually want to go, like within a few months, the tickets are like a thousand bucks or some shit. What? So she's like, yeah. Sometimes they do matinee shows of some some uh, musicals. Let's let's look it up and see if we can get tickets. And I was like, all right, sure. So I just Googled it. I was like, oh yeah, Hamilton matinee show. There's two tickets on StubHub, two fifty each. Wow. Let's do it. And she was like, okay, sure. Yeah. Got the tickets. Um, we just like weren't thinking anything of it. We just like sent them to my phone, and then we're just like fucking around. Starts at two. We left my hotel at one thirty. We get there at one fifty five. And then no one fifty two. They go, sir, uh, there's like a gigantic line. The lady sees I'm holding my phone out. She goes, sir, we don't scan phones. You can go up to the top of the, or the eighth floor of the Hilton that's right uh, beside here and print them on the business center up there. Thank you. And I was like, okay, what fucking year is it? Yeah. They don't scan phones. Well, you are coming to the theater. We're preserving the art of performance. Yeah, exactly. And, and yeah. Why aren't you in a tuxedo as yeah. well? <laughs> <clears throat> so I, we did walk up to the fucking eighth floor of this Hilton, which like the, also the elevators in New York are fucking weird as shit. Why? You press what floor you're going to, and then it tells you which elevator you have to stand by. I guess like the whole system oh, is supposed it. to be more efficient because yeah. it like optimizes which is going up different and down. And elevators working in blah, tangent, blah, blah, blah. but it just ends up taking for fucking ever. Yep. Elevator gets up there. We go. We we meet two girls in the same elevator that had the same problem. Yeah. They, they had tickets on their phone. They couldn't print them, or they couldn't scan them. So we get up to the. It's a FedEx print center. Sick. You ever dealt with one of those fucking places? Oh yeah. You got to email the thing, yep, and then the it PDF, take, yeah. it gives you a fucking code, you put the yep. code. The whole thing is just like, what? This is not the fucking 90s. Yep. None of this needs to exist well, what's, at all. What's awesome is how FedEx will take that and they try to market it like it's like really modern and cool. They're like, you can email us your design. It's like, that's not what, that's not helpful. Yeah. Because <laughs> no. you got to fucking pipe me through this not, fucking yeah. email server. Yeah, yeah. It's like, you know, cars 
drive themselves now. <laughs> Dude, I hate. Why do I have to fucking print a ticket? <laughs> like, like, what are they worried about? That I'm gonna Photoshop a, uh, a thing? I, I could know. just as easily do that and yeah. then fucking print it yep. and take the photoshopped thing yep. to the yeah. Fucking ridiculous. Mm. And so I we we go and we're like, it's like you know two minutes left, and we're like, dude, if we don't fucking get into this shit. <laughs> email the printer my PDF. It emails back a code. We enter in the code. Meanwhile, the girls behind us cannot get this thing to work at all. And the guy's like, just email the thing and blah, blah, blah. They cannot get it to work. We print our tickets, get down. We enter the theater. We're the last ones in, and we sit down, and the show starts right wow. away. Wow. And we're like, these girls behind us probably paid 500 bucks. And they're not getting in. And they're not getting into the first half of the show. Rip. R.I.P. Bro, fuck, You man. know what I hate? When I go to a public establishment and... The dude, it's, if it's a dude and he's flirting with a girl in front of me and I'm hungry or need to get something done, I like, I want to flip. Like, I always just want to be like, hey, excuse me, miss. She's not going to fuck you. Yeah. I need to get yeah. out of here. Yeah. I fucking, yeah. I, that shit drives me insane. <laughs> and this is going to be, this is going to be the stupidest fucking most like privileged, like, <laughs> like techie complaint ever. <laughs> oh. When I'm at Whole Foods. <laughs> uh, here we go. <laughs> oh, that's a white ass Any, story. I mean, starts. I mean, this is, no, this is also true at CVS. It's also true. Okay. When people use cash in front of me oh. for like when you're in like the the you know the the 12 item lane yeah. someone has like eight items <laughs> they're like just use apple pay how do you not fucking have apple pay it takes five seconds it takes five seconds this whole line you're just yelling at some mom she's like oh, okay this <laughs> is like, coming out of my, a, my disability a, <laughs> it's a grandma oh my disability check is just not. how do you not have apple pay it's oh. like i don't even know what that is <laughs> i just like, i don't what? know i have a nephew here's a picture <laughs> you scream at her I'm like, what i don't want to what? She goes, uh, no, I would apple, not like any I would, apples. I'm just trying to pay for my apples. <laughs> I mean, That's what I'm doing. I'm apple paying. And you're no, just no, like, no, no. Get no. your fucking eyes on the register, Ethel. <laughs> Ethel. Before I fuck you up. Just like, why are you paying cash for shit? <laughs> cash? Again, what is this, the 90s? Yeah, what is also, I hate that the every dude at Whole Foods, or half of them, are just like bodybuilders. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what? <laughs> Dude, every everyone we were there, I guess on Monday at like six thirty, and every single person was just arriving from a workout. Every oh single person, God. every single person is like sweaty, glistening, fucking jacked to the gills. Oh yeah, they're all just buying like Omega like calorie three. free, calorie free kombucha. Yeah, and like raw fish. Yeah, that's yeah. it. I just feel like every dude at Whole Foods is like takes the shit extra long because he's like. You want a fucking receipt with that? And he's just like showing off his lats. And I'm like, bro, I see it. All right. I get it. You're fucking huge. Yeah, I get it, dude. You just went. You just did Pilates. I get it. <laughs> like, yeah. who the fuck buys the cookies at Whole Foods? Me. That's it. Yeah. I'm the only person ever to buy cookies at Whole Foods. <laughs> they put them out when they see you walking up. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, fat yeah, boy's yeah, coming. Yeah, Hold yeah, on. yeah, exactly. Here. You just yeah. fucking. Here. <laughs> Put some sprinkles on those ones. He yeah. likes that. <laughs> you go in there, you're like, oh. <laughs> Put those sprinkles on Put it. Put your on. Look at this So, yeah, see Hamilton. It's amazing. <laughs> changed my life. Didn't actually change my life, but it was really good. Well, I yo, sobbed like a child. I feel like we're, we're covering a lot of heavy topics this episode, so I want to cover a heavy, heavy topic, mm-hmm. which I think is important. Which is why? My balls. <laughs> oh. Nice, dude. Got him. Grow the fuck up. Uh, no, bro. Grow that, up. That... that that fucking uh, gymnast doctor, Larry Nassar, his sentencing, boy, I bumped that 30-minute sentencing like a Migos mixtape. Oh, I, did you really? We put that shit on the TV. We had that all the way up. I was just the like- one the judge is like- Oh, I was dabbing everything she was saying. You? Yeah, she was <laughs> like, like, hey. Yeah. 173. Hey. Oh. <laughs> she was like, I signed your death warrant. I'm yeah, like- I know. Yeah, that shit was- yeah. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> I was like- I was, Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was ad-libbing for her. She said that. I was like, she signed it. <laughs> you going to jail. Death one forever. I was in that bitch. <laughs> that shit was so fire. <sighs> what a dumb dick that guy was. Yo, and he, I looked up his attorney defense. Ah, man, the language on that was like, really? What was it? They Some defense, like some, they said in court, they were like, oh, the uh, plaintiffs are just, you know, they're just unfamiliar with his techniques because he has a unique level of expertise. And I'm like, 
that just sounds like a weird way of saying this dude is. No, no, it's not finger. I mean, this dude like finger these chicks for yeah. foot problems. Yeah, no, but it's not that's, f- not. that's not a technique at all. That's no, no, not no. like that's not like homeopathic shit. Or, no. You know what I'm saying? No, where it's, it's like it's not. It's fingering. like it's like what's it's, the um, shit where they put the tiny needles in you? Oh, acupuncture. acupuncture you yeah. know what I mean? They're like, oh, you got a headache? Oh, yeah. we're gonna acupuncture your toe, yeah. and that shit's gonna go away. Yeah. And you're yeah. like, all right. Yeah, that to me was like, no, you can't say. <laughs> this, is, this is the worst excuse. No, I'm not fingering you. I just have a unique level of expertise. Yeah. And so then I read like an article by a, up. a pelvic <clears throat> therapist, like or doctor for pelvic treatment. She was like, first thing she says, uh, the nature of Larry's treatment is the antithesis to pelvic uh, therapy or whatever. She was like, uh, all, you know, P- PT doctors are to use gloves and he did not. I just stopped right there. I was like, I don't need to know anything else. This motherfucker took the gloves off. He put his crusty ass fingers in them. Bro, block this fool up forever. R- put him in a cryogenic chamber. Bring Jesus. him back to life. Lock him up again. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I want him to be locked up for just many, many years. Like, this dude is a piece of shit. Yeah. It's like 150 bro, a, a I believe a gymnast killed herself. No way. Yeah, because like it fucked her up. And then I, it was either a father or a, or a family friend's father didn't believe her. And when it came out that it was true, he killed himself. And I believe some of these girls actually told their parents, their parents told them they were wrong. And then they made the girls apologize to him or like just in general. I think they had to like apologize for what they said. I'm like, that is so, I want to fucking kill. That is evil. That's evil. I want to kill something when I lose an argument. I can't even imagine what that fucking felt like. To say sorry to that piece of shit. Jesus, oh. fuck, man. I think they, everyone should just get a turn to just, just like stick a, just a fat ass dildo on his ass. It's just like a community event. Like, yeah. oh, Larry's in town. They just bring out a truck. And I mean, isn't that what essentially the judge said? She was like, she was like, basically, I hope you get like, didn't she say something no, that was along she, the lines of, like, I hope you get molested in prison? I mean, she said, like, you know, I hope you're shaken to your core and, and like, this and that. She made it I, more about, like, I don't I don't recall her saying that. I just, I, I know wrong. she just broke down the time and was just, like, really laying into him, like, you're never, ever getting out of here. And she would say shit, like, and on the uh, God-given chance, you somehow see the light of day outside this prison. These are the rules. You are not to go here, here. She was just laying it just giving it to him that motherfucker dude if he gets That's put nuts. in general pop for even a second they're gonna slash him up dog they're gonna fuck him up he bet dude he's gonna be such a bitch in there he's gonna have to be kissing every CO's ass praying to god they don't just throw him out with the with the general population it, it really depends what prison he goes to I hope he doesn't go to a good one I hope he goes to one where he's just fearing for life every single day that story made me sick dog Ugh. made me sick Jesus Christ yeah man Shit's so. crazy. Fuck that guy. Fuck that's that. One that's one with a big... Fuck yeah. that guy. Fuck Larry Nassar. Yeah. yeah. Fuck that guy. Absolute pile of shit. Anyways, guys, two episodes next week. Mm-hmm. We finna ding off. Yeah, and and uh, I guess look forward to the to the Ding Ding Palace. Yeah. Because <laughs> that's now a reality. We actually... Yep. Did we... I don't even... Did we really even talk about that? We started talking about it, and I mean, then... I feel like we, maybe we bring it... End it on an up. Yeah, sure. So we leased... Or I guess like we leased the studio now. Yeah. It's... It's... Um, it's good. It's great. We were there yesterday. Uh, we got like a smaller one and then we're moving into a bigger one yep. at the end of the month. Yep. And then so that's where we're going to set up. Like we're going to get better mics. We're going to get like a real fucking mixer and shit like that so that this won't be a yep. thing anymore. Yep. So the Patreon money is going to good use. We're going to get like a, yep. you know, we're going to like you know, decorate it a little bit, swag it out so we can like just get there, make it nice sit down, press record. And give you guys uh, and, um, a good show. Yeah. So and it'll then, be good. And then more music too. Yeah. And uh, that way... The 20 minutes I use to make my shake, I can just spend squeezing you <laughs> for more fucking yeah, exactly. comedic dialogue. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that whole time, we could just spend that recording instead yeah. of me just... Yeah. Because we always talk over you making the shake. Yeah. We could just... Yeah. We could just... That all could be on the... Hit them with a buck 20. Yeah. Buck 20, y'all. Uh, yeah, go check out the new song. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you what... Next oh. next Monday? Yeah, cool. next, something like that. Start off your week with some fucking... Posters are going out soon. Oh, yeah, posters are going out soon. We and just got to sign them, do and we, then... Do we, do we drop the big bomb on them? What? About March. Do we... 
Oh, oh, yeah, we got some. Well, oh, yeah, just initial. So we got just, some. We do. We have four shows in March. Boom. Um, they're not like the details haven't been totally worked out yet. So there's no like ticket link or anything yet. But at the end of March, we're doing four shows. One in um, Anaheim, Anaheim, San Francisco, San Diego, and Phoenix. Phoenix. So if you're around those areas, not in that order, but those are the cities we will be in. Yeah. So if you're around those areas, um, just keep an eye out for ticket links and shit like that. Yeah. And um, also, I did. I did, when I was in New York, I did Joe Sandigato's podcast. It's called The Basement Yard. So if you want to go listen to that, oh, yeah, sure. Oh, he was on. He was on full screen, and he was on. Uh, yeah, he was. So yeah. Yeah, I was. That was an interesting conversation. He was yeah. like, his show basically was. He was like, he got renewed. Yep. And, and then, they were like ordered a second season, and then all of a sudden, it poof. just didn't exist. And he was like, yeah, I didn't even like know. Yeah, that's that's fucked. That yeah. is fucked up. Yeah. Dot com. I know. So what was he doing now? Is he just doing it on his own? Um, he is, yeah, he's just doing it. I mean, like, yeah, that's what he's always been doing. Full screen, basically. He started filming it full screen, like, ordered a season of it filmed. So he was just doing it. the same shit he's always done. Got it. And then now he's just back to doing it audio only. So go check that out. It's a pretty funny episode, actually. I listened to it. But... <laughs> I'm sorry. I just jumped into my high notepad, and there is some wonderfully shitty... <laughs> what do you got? Oh my God. So my hands were dry from like washing them. And uh, this is going to sound really gross, but I was like, why is there no form of like um, stimulation for the hands? Essentially, I want clits on my hands so <laughs> I can moisten them. You know, like, because I'll go to a bathroom in a public restroom and I'll wash my hands and I get real dry and I need lotion, but there's no lotion. So I'm thinking, why is there not a natural way that I could just like, you know, if I could just rub like a little part of my hand and then the moisture comes back. <laughs> I can't. What? Oh, that is the dumbest thing I've ever said. Uh, well, no, it's not. But that's fucking close. It's close. It's in the top three of. Also, I hate it when there's lotion around the soap. I hate that because when, when you get a fuck when you get like a hotel at hotels, <laughs> you're like when you get those two oh, mixed up. It. It's like the worst feeling ever. <laughs> like rubbing lotion in your hands underwater for yeah, some it's reason. Gross. It's like oh, it's yeah, like slimy. It's foul. And then all of a sudden you're like, well, now I got to wash my hands extra to get the fucking lotion off. Yes, but imagine the lotion is never there and you wash your hand and then just as you're walking back. I don't get dry hands from washing. I, I don't wash my hands though, so then maybe that's what it yeah, is. Yeah, that's probably what it is. <laughs> you're just like, oh, I've, I've never. Wait, what? That, oh, that's what that's for. <laughs> oh. oh, that's weird. Oh my God. Yeah, that's I just, crazy. I, I just, was just drinking tap water. Yeah, I just thought it was. I just poop and rub it off with my own hand and I drink the <laughs> tap water and I head back out to dinner. That's, <laughs> that's how I do it. Yeah. You Anyways, know, you hey, know. good good podcast, man. Oh, <laughs> you, oh wait. Oh <laughs> shit. Oh, my hands are just Oh uh, guys, I, Cody turned on my hands. Now they're just dripping wet. Oh, from your hand clits. Oh, my oh, hand clits. So stupid. <laughs> Makes no sense. <laughs> just you just do it on accident, business meeting. Hey, good good to meet you. And then you just activate him. He's like, oh fuck. No, it's not funny. I'm not gonna laugh at this joke. Yeah, you are. It's not funny. <laughs> I'm not stop holding on your fucking hand. I don't want to touch your hand clit. Just, just that's one of those like thoughts where you like write it down and you're like, this is gonna be funny in the morning. And then it's not. And then you wake up and you're like, Woof. a hand. How clit. would I even begin to start writing a joke about this? I mean, a hand clit to me is just you know, it makes sense in my mind. Maybe it's not a clit is like not the the right word. Just you know, an area I could just like, and then the moisture comes back. Okay. Yeah. You know, because I get dry skin. Yeah, so yeah, still doesn't really make that much sense, but. I mean, dude, it's like um, lotion built into your body. <laughs> it's just getting progressively dumber. And d lotion built into your body. This that is, is the part of the podcast where we start smoking weed. Yeah, this is that's the highest concept. Yeah. Bro, it'd be like if you took a thing like of Luberderm and then just like put it in your back and then it distributed and you were always like, you know. Yeah, and then. While we're at it, I guess you could just build like a book light into your forehead. Yeah, and then you know, like you're like one of these fish, like bruh, these fish down at the bottom, they're the ones. You know what I'm saying? Whoa. Check out my new single, <laughs> Light on My Head. <laughs> it's featuring only me, Russ. <laughs> Mix and master. Mix and master myself, honey. <laughs> I was thinking we should do a song. 
today even. Oh, really? That's just called like high on myself. Or I use something about like yeah, mixing, being... and mas- mixing and mastering. <laughs> or just like a song that's awful and the lyrics are all about how you mix and master it yourself. <laughs> no, dude, we should do a song where we'll have Christian or Spock make it. And then in the middle of the beat, we start talking about how we made it. <laughs> so the beat cuts out and we're just like yeah so like to get these drums man like it wasn't easy Christian and like, in the background is like no what do you mean I'm, like, hey, I'm shut the, sitting shut right the, here shut the fuck up I'm Christian. making it as you're recording no, no, this no 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 listen listen so to get these drums man we had to you know we was digging through sample packs like <laughs> listen to this like and the song keeps coming back in and out and we're just like, we're giving the fucking Spotify behind the music but it's it's the song <laughs> Should I play them the the um yeah, so yeah. the beat that I made? Yeah. I'm kind of proud of it. This is how I con Cody into more time. I let him say bye, and then I just start up another thing, and then... This was me this time. I was the one true. that was like... This is true, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait. Wait. Okay. Oh. Uh, uh. Cody's been trying to, you know... Everyone's like, they can hear this like three volumes. They're like, um, yeah, this sounds whack. Yeah, sing hey, it, do it. Yeah, 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 I'm bruh finna dang off, dang off. All the bruhs finna gang off, gang off. I'm with the bruhs in the fan, and uh, 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 finna gang off. <laughs> yeah, bruh, yeah. Oh, that's actually, <laughs> that's actually in that's there. That's in there. <laughs> that's our new hit single, bruhs finna gang off. Yeah, that's a song. That's a little beat I made. Bruhs finna gang off. It snapped. That sounds so stupid. Bros finna gang off. <laughs> what does that even mean? That's that should have get you in trouble. <laughs> Swim my bros. You, you ganging off. Dude, that sounds like some fucking like like some like <laughs> some Jesse Pinkman shit from Breaking Bad. Yeah. Me and the bros finna gang off. And someone's like, what the <laughs> fuck did you just say to me? I'm a f- <laughs> don't ever say that shit again around me. Dude, I was like, today I was fucking <laughs> I was on the boardwalk. We were we were birding on the boardwalk. We had Bird, those fucking scooters. Birds, bro. This one guy like like looks at me, he's like walking with some girl, and it's like some piece of shit, dude. And he goes, he goes, nice scooter, like like that thing's rad, but like really, <laughs> really overly sarcastic, yep. like clearly, oh being a dick, you know, um, to go British on you, taking the piss. Okay, clearly was taking the piss. Yeah, and I was like, dude, you're just gonna get your ass beat if you just, you can't just do that. You can't just publicly be a dick to people. <laughs> Dude. Like that, you can't just do that, right? Like, I'm just, I'm just imagining, like, if you just happen to be like some fucking, like, it's some guy like amateur MMA fighter, and that's just the one that set you over, and you're like, eh. yeah, yeah, yeah. The fuck did you say to me, bro? Wheel kick his fucking dome off. I was just, yeah. <laughs> like, I was just thinking, I was like, this guy, like, you're, you're just so clearly a. Di- I mean, granted, this is, you know, not the. It is like pretty fucking shitty. Yeah, the bird thing, you know, standing on like this. Mm-hmm. You look like an idiot. You do. But it's like to say that to someone's face, it's like you can't just do that. You're yeah. going to get You're gonna get beat up. up one day. I'm not going to be the one to do it. Do I'm me- a gentle giant. Do you remember the S board? No. It was like this it's like this skateboard where like you do like this. Like, I hate that shit. Yeah. He's doing like the Michael Jackson yeah, with it. Yeah. Like just yeah, swagging yeah. it out, going down the road. I remember this dude at college was fucking like just a G with that thing. He... It sound they look stupid, but when this kid did it, he was a total nerd. But like, I guarantee some girls were like, "Wow, yeah, look at his hips." That's kind moving of moving on that shit. No, because dude could just drop it like a skateboard and get going. Okay, like he'd just be sitting somewhere like, "Yeah, dude, catch you later." <laughs> Ride his skateboard like, then. Oh my god! Wow, jeez, that's too easy for him. Okay, he had to show yeah. the girls that he was working with. Yeah, yeah, he needed a challenge. <laughs> It's borderline like rollerblading, like yeah. stylistic like rollerblading. Oh, it's worse than rollerblading. Ah, it's pretty at pretty pretty um similar. Yeah, mm. I don't know. With rollerblading, you can like you get to go do cool stuff like wear short shorts and high socks. That's and, true, actually. You know, tight shirt, a helmet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, let's wrap it up. All right, guys, uh, we're gonna head to our rollerblading class. Uh, see you next week. Roller derby. Roller derby. Yo. People who do roller derby. Oh, are fuck not- it. I don't want to keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let me just say this. this. Dude, we're just going to carry this to three hours yeah, yeah. every two seconds. All right, guys. See you later. All right, guys. Peace. Wait, no, hold Wait on. actually, before let you say, say that. that- <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I watched a video about roller derby. Uh, roller derby? Roller derby. Uh, my brain is like, see? Yeah, I don't watch the video about roller derby. <laughs> this is a cool video about roller derby. Uh, people who do roller derby are not that fit, man. It just requires you to be kind of big. Okay. Yeah. What even is roller derby? 
kind of like just go in a circle and some person can score points and you're like you're trying to like create physical obstacles for them to get around and mm. you want your the person on your team to score the points mm. and, i mean sounds weird and unnecessary yeah it's like it's like a weird form of like tag and dodgeball mm. but with like people yeah I all right know. well <laughs> ended it on a strong note <laughs> <laughs> see you guys next week see you guys peace love you